What's up guys? Today I'm going to be teaching you to do that one-handed shot. We've seen Sidney Crosby do that. I'm going to prove to you that you don't need strength because I am not the strongest guy. To show you, I'm going to be using these junior sticks that Raven sent me. So we got a 50 flex, we got a 40, we got a 30, we got a 20. This is the lightest blade in the junior market. also has the largest sweet spot. So let's try it out. See if we can rip some rope with the one-hander. Now there's a couple methods. We're going to talk about the first one, which is pulling it in to the body and then flicking it. So it's all about the timing. So we want to generate a little bit of puck momentum towards the body and also a little bit of blade momentum and time it as the blade opens. That's when we've immediately got a flick. So that's going to provide the strength behind the shot. We want to be able to get every bit of leverage we can because we are very weak, obviously, with one hand. So if we pull this in and we don't start to open and the puck goes forward, that's usually when we come over top of the puck and we don't raise it. So we want to be able to pull it in tight to the body, okay, so the arm is kind of fully stretched out. And then as we pull it in, the arm bends. Then as we push it out and flick, that bent arm is going to leverage the shot and allow us to get a little bit of power. So if we're fully extended, we have no power, that elbow is bent, we'll have some power. So here's some examples. We have it fully out outreached. I'm gonna pull it in front of our body, not in towards, out front. Okay, now in terms of release point, I like to drag it in using the backhand toe and then release it near the backhand toe as well. I just find that it's easier to leverage getting under the puck on the part where the blade is curved. Anywhere down here, you'd kind of have to get uh, this low to kind of get under the puck and this just allows me to remain a little bit more upright through the shot. Okay, and then the last thing is that you want to have no hesitation. So that has to do with the blade opening and keeping the blade momentum. So right when you're opening the blade, you want to immediately drive through and flick. If there's that little bit of hesitation here, then you lose all your blade momentum and you're starting from square one. And once again, that's how you're gonna lose a lot of speed uh, and not be able to get under the puck and raise it. Okay, so release point around the toe and then just no hesitation as you whip that blade open and flick it. First one is instead of having it out wide and pulling in, we kind of have it a little bit more just in front and just pulling back. So pull straight back and then flick. Sometimes it's a little bit easier to elevate it for some people. And then the other method is instead of pulling it in at all, okay, or pulling it back, we're just going to leave the puck open there and skate onto it. Okay, so instead of uh, getting the, the puck dragged in, we're just going to meet it and then kind of flick it open. Okay, so just set up the puck there. You're going to have your blade like this, just like you would, but we're just canceling out the puck dragging in. So we're going to have the blade like this, and then as we meet it, we're going to open it up and then flick through on the follow through. Okay, it's got to be timed properly. Okay, so there I was using the 50 flex. We'll toss that guy aside and we're gonna work our way down. So we'll start with the 40, go down to the 30, and then test out the 20. Let's see if we can do this. All right, and we're back with my good old friend, the 20 Flex. You guys have seen me use this in videos before. Let's see how good it is with the one-hander. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Woo! Oh, it's a beauty, man. It's a 20 flex, I'm telling you. That's the jam. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so what we found there, the shorter the stick, the easier it was. So obviously we measured these two guys up. The 20 flex is almost half the size of the 50 flex here. So it was easier to just get leverage, get under that with the short stick. Uh, we're gonna toss that guy aside and teach you guys how to do it the way Crosby does now. It's incredible the way he does it because he's super low. He's fending off a defender and he pulls it into his body while moving. We're gonna teach you how to do that so maybe you can apply it to your game. Let's go. Okay, so here's how we do it at speed. So first we get a little bit of speed, then we get into our glide, widen the feet out. Then we're gonna take the bottom hand off the stick, shield in with that bottom hand and shield with that inside leg. Okay, we're gonna have that puck out away from our body a little bit ahead of us we're gonna bring it in and try and shoot it far side there okay let's try it Okay, so that's how you do the one-handed shot. A bunch of different variations there. Big thank you to Raven for sending me all these sticks to test out. Be sure to test them out. They do have a new blade once again. Uh, it's got the biggest sweet spot and it's the lightest one on the junior market. All flex points so you get the right flex for your body weight. Uh, once again, you don't gotta be strong to do this thing. I'm not the strongest guy with the forearm strength. It's all about technique. Pay attention to those little things, try it out, and you might be using it in your next game and sniping, all right? We'll see you guys next time. Peace.